Hello everyone! Ever wondered why some men get women that are totally out of their league? You're like, how did he get her? Well, today I am going to talk about traits that women find sexy and attractive in men besides the usual good looks, height, sense of humor and success. So sit down and pay attention. This episode of Get That Girl, we are talking about traits and characteristics that women find sexy. Number one, this is the most powerful for me, eye contact. Now, if you can hold that gaze for a little longer than comfortable, say you're at a restaurant or a bar and you see a girl and you look at her and she looks at you, instead of quickly turning away, you keep looking at her and then smile and then look away. That is attractive and women find that pretty irresistible. Also, if you're on a date and you're talking to a girl and you hold that gaze, you give her your 100% attention, you're looking in her eyes and not looking at the hot girl who passed by, that is very sexy and very attractive and women are very in tune with where your eyes are. So keep your eyes focused on her. Wonder why eye contact is so appealing? Because it conveys intimacy. It conveys that you're locked in. It conveys that you will be with her no matter what passes by. And women like that. Number two, posture. Ever wondered why the short guy gets all the girls? Well, maybe that short guy has a better posture than the tall six foot three guy. Posture is so important because it conveys confidence. So if you stand tall and stand straight, believe me, you can be sexier than that tall dude who's hunching over the bar and the girl will pick you. Number three, the way you sit. Now this may be a little contradictory and some women may disagree, but the truth is women are scientifically attracted to men who sit big. So you know when you're manspreading with your legs apart, that is more attractive than a guy who sits with his leg, one leg over the other. Because that sitting small, sitting big shows you're confident. And women are so attracted to confidence. Confidence is a turn on, but arrogance is a turn off. There's a thin line. Guys, that will be another video. Number four, voice. Guys, a deep voice goes a long way with the ladies. It's even sexier when we have to lean in to hear you. So when you talk, talk deep and talk a little softer. We're not attracted to men who are loud. We're attracted to men who are deep and speak in a hushed tone. And then we have to lean in to hear them. That's attractive. Number five. Now this is big for me. It's so huge. Humility. Humble. You know when you're humble. So if you're good looking, and you don't know it, oh my God, you're so attractive. If you're smart and intelligent and funny and you just like so nonchalant about it, like you walk around like you don't know that, that is so attractive. Now, if you're good looking and you're constantly posing and like taking selfies and putting them on your Instagram, that is not attractive. That is a turn off, guys. So humility is something women actually are so drawn to. Really. Number six. Optimistic, positive, and excited. Now, women are much more attracted to men who are optimistic, positive, excited about the world, rather than men who are cynical, complaining, and sarcastic. Number seven. Now, men always think that women are attracted to very successful, rich men. Well, maybe some women are. But I think most women are attracted to men who have the drive to be successful. So if you have a purpose, an ambition, goals, you found your ikigai, you know, if you are excited to get up in the morning and go to work and, you know, you have a drive to succeed, a plan to succeed, that is very attractive. Number eight. Women are attracted to men who have hobbies. Now, I'm not talking about sitting and watching Netflix as a hobby or scrolling through hot pictures of girls on Instagram as a hobby or <laughs> playing video games as a hobby. No, those are very unattractive to women. 
I'm talking about a real hobby, like if you're into gardening or painting or reading also. Playing a guitar, oof, so super sexy, super, see I can't even talk. <laughs> so hobbies are very attractive. Number nine, men who exercise, who are fit, who play a sport, who respect their body, who work out every day, that's very attractive because that shows that you respect yourself, you're taking care of yourself and that is attractive. Number 10, very attractive, kind, empathetic, sweet men. How you treat other people, how you treat your parents, how you treat a person on the street, how you treat a server in a restaurant. Those are things women pay attention to and find attractive. Kind, sweet, caring. Men are attractive because you feel that later on they will be kind, sweet and caring towards you too. At number 11, now this may be a little controversial, but I spoke to a lot of women and they said to me they find men who are not on social media, in fact if they have no Instagram or Facebook account, they find those men more attractive. I'm guessing this is because when you're not on social media, it means you have other hobbies, that means you read books, you're into your self-development, you do other things besides just scrolling and that is attractive in other people. Number 12, women find men who are mentally strong very attractive. You know somebody who's independent, who's fine with being by himself, who's okay to be alone, doesn't need friends all the time, doesn't stay with his parents, somebody who lives by himself, somebody who's self-sufficient, independent and mentally strong means he says he's going to do something and he does it. You know, it may be hard for him but he can do it. Mental strength is so attractive. Peaceful, quiet, calm, patient. A man who has what we call in India, Therav. That is attractive. Emotional awareness. Someone who has a deeper insight emotionally, emotionally aware as to what is going on. That person is very attractive. So if a woman is crying, he doesn't get freaked out. He kind of understands and talks to her. He's aware, he's emotionally aware of his own emotions as well. EQ is very, very sexy. Stability. Stability is very important to women. This does not mean that you have to be rich. This just means that you have to be able to hold on to a job. That is attractive. Women want to feel like you are just stable. Now this also doesn't mean just financially. It means emotionally as well. It means that you are emotionally sound and it also means that you are able to be there for her emotionally and you're not just going to run off with some other woman. You're always there. That stability is very attractive. A good way to show stability is just to call when you say you're going to call. That's just showing stability. That means, hey, he does what he says he's going to do, you know, or be there at the time you say you're going to be there. That shows stability. Good listening skills. Women want to feel valued and respected. We really want your ears. And the way you can show us that you are listening is actively listen and ask thoughtful questions. Don't just go off and talk and talk and talk about yourself. Actively be interested, ask questions, and listen. A very important part is humor, but humor doesn't just have to be that you're so funny. Of course, the funny guy gets a lot of girls, but even if you have the ability to laugh at stupid, silly stuff and laugh at yourself, not take yourself too seriously, that shows us that you have humor. Women find men who dress well attractive. Now I don't mean dress well like you have to be in those skinny jeans and like some fancy shirt, no. In fact, basic is more attractive to women. I think a no fail would be like blue jeans and a white t-shirt and a baseball hat. Just plain athletic clothes. Stay away from shirts that have things written over it. That's, that's, Mm -mm. Uh, no, no, and things written on your jeans and stuff. Just stay away from big graphics and writing and you're fine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. These were sexy traits of men that women love. 
Now remember, these are traits that you can develop. These are habits you can develop. So I hope I'm helping you here. All right, remember to leave a like and let me know if I forgot to mention anything. Girls, I want your inputs and I want you to send this to all your male friends. All right, leave a like, remember to comment and do subscribe to my channel. See you next time.